Hello my dear student. I welcome you all to the math class. Student from today onwards we are going to start chapter 5 that is lines and angle. Alright. So before starting the exercise let us have some introduction of the chapter. Starting with the dot line you can see here that a point the dot line is re basically represented as a point. A point is an exact location in space or a flat surface. Basically you will find in a geometry. Okay. So from now onwards we are going to deal with the part of the geometry. Okay. So the first and foremost point uh, is dot or a point. Number two. Line. You have heard this term since when you are kids. Right. So a line is a collection of a points. Collection of a point. So this dot, this point many time it uh, uh, it comes it collected it is it gets collected that continues forever in both the direction okay in both the direction where it doesn't have any end point it goes on and on that is your line so another part of a line which gets uh, end or which has a end point is called a line segment which is a part of a line okay so let us learn about line segment which is our next topic a line segment is a part of a line with two end point you can see here two this is your one end point and this is your one end point so a line segment has a two end point so which is a part of a line all right i hope this is making sense to you all number four a ray ray starts from one point and extend in one direction. So this ray is moving in this direction. So you can see another ray. Uh, you can see this one is moving in upward direction. This is moving in this horizontal direction. Some may move in a x manner, right? So so a ray starts from one point and extend in one direction forever. Okay, it is different from the line, but uh, it has got one direction. Okay, line doesn't have got any direction which extend in both the direction. Line segment has end point. This is your one end point. This is another point. Okay, so array starts from one point. This is your one point here and extend in one direction forever. Okay, next. <clears throat> now it comes the important thing is your angle. You can see the green part here. You can see the green arrow, uh, sorry, green uh, shaded line that represents an angle. So, you have heard this term also. An angle is not a very new term to you people because an angle is formed when these two ray, here it is one ray, so there is no any angle, right? But here you can see there is two ray which is moving one in the vertical direction, another in the horizontal direction. So this two ray meet in this part, in this point here, and they are forming an angle. So this part is a angle. So angle is formed when two rays share an end point. When they share two rays, when two rays share an end point, they form an angle. Okay. I hope this is clear now. You have heard the different types of angle, right? So in our today's class also, from now and onwards, we are going to deal with the different types of the angle formed. Okay. Using that, we will solve our exercise. Okay. Proceeding forward, intersecting line. So this terms may be new to you all. So you can see the example to make your idea clear. Okay. Intersecting lines are the line. Intersecting lines are the line that pass through the same point. Just see, they are passing through the same point. They are intersecting at this point. They are intersecting at this middle point. So, intersecting lines are the lines that pass through the same point. Alright. Next, perpendicular line. Perpendicular means where they are forming a 90 degree. You can see this angle and this angle is same. So this angle, if you have to name, you will name it as a right angle or a perpendicular angle or they are in perpendicular position. Okay. So the perpendicular lines, if they are forming 90 degree, then we will called 
they are intersecting at a 90 degree but they are not forming a 90 degree they are some something acute angle less than 90 degree isn't it so we will refer here as a perpendicular line at uh, that intersect at the right angle see right angle here and over here also right angle over here also it is right angle okay so they are forming a right angle and they are this type of line is called perpendicular line okay moving on to the next parallel line this term may be familiar to you the two lines with the two rays to uh, lines which never gets in contact with each other on any point whether in this point or on this side or this side or this side they will never get contact with each other if such is happening if such rays or the lines are there then we will refer that line as a parallel line which will never intersect like they are intersecting here in this point they are intersecting over here it is intersecting no but in parallel lines the rays or the line never gets intersect that is never get in contact with each other okay i hope this all are clear to you these are very important things students please you have to keep in your concept you have to make your concept very very clear for this okay okay <clears throat> proceeding forward we have a related angles which we have to study in our uh, this chapter and solve we have to solve various um, uh, exercise problem given in the exercise in your book okay so the first and foremost is complementary angle number two supplementary angle number three is adjacent number four is linear pair angle and number five is vertically opposite angle so student we will study this all in a very detailed manner okay so first of all we will start with our complementary angle so here I have given the definition of the complementary angle. Just try to understand. I will explain you also. Just try to understand also. Okay. So the first is complementary angle. The two angles are complementary when they add up to 90 degrees. They are forming 90 degree means right angle they are forming. Isn't it? So when two angles are combined or when they are add say for example just see here 60 degree and 30 degree when they are added they are forming complementary angle this type of angle is known as complementary angle and they are called right angle okay whenever suppose 60 plus 30 is 90 here 5 85 there are various ways to make 90 degree no when uh, we're having two pair of angle suppose say one having one pair of angle suppose say instead of uh, 5 years 6 and 84 degrees there then they all they are also making a complementary angle that is forming a 90 degree which is the right angle isn't it so if such is the condition if the pair of an angle is forming a 90 degree after adding then we will consider that angle as a complementary angle okay remember complementary means the sum sum of the two angle means 90 degree okay next we have supplementary angle number two is supplementary angle when they add up to 180 degree in this uh, complementary case there was one 90 degree sorry now in supplementary it is 180 degree say example 60 degree and 120 degree are supplementary angle that is when they when you add 60 and 120 what will happen you will get 180 the result is 180 similarly 93 plus 87 when you add when they are add they form 90 180 degree so they if the angle after adding if a pair of angle uh, after adding um, if they are forming 180 degree then we will refer that angle as a supplementary angle all right student proceeding forward we have adjacent angle which is very very important which we have to understand the concept okay number three is adjacent angle two angles are adjacent remember student we are all in this chapter we will compare or we will study about the pair of angle not in a single like not only for a acute angle obtuse angle or a uh, your straight angle we will study about the pair of angle and after that we will study about what type of angle they are forming we have to study that thing okay so number three here is adjacent angle when they have a common size and common vertex corner point and 
they do not get overlap okay <clears throat> okay student so to form an address and angle this is the condition which you have to remember okay number one is angle a b c just see the example here angle a b c example i have given angle a b c is adjacent to angle c b d why it is adjacent because they have common side that is common side is c b in both the condition that is a b c and c b d you will find this common arm this is called arm okay. common side or an arm okay a b is your common side or arm c b is your common side or an arm b d is similarly your common side or an arm okay so angle a b c is adjacent to c b d so if somebody ask you giving some any uh, angle pair of angle then you have to con if you have to consider whether those angle are adjacent or not then you have to see whether they are having the common side or not first of all so in case of a b c and c b d they are having the common side that is c b c b all right next another important thing if any of the point is missing then we will not consider that as an adjacent angle this two point that is number one common side and number two they have a common vertex point see where they are meeting vertex means the corner side okay the corner side number b that is sorry not b point b okay point b this point in this point every line is getting meeting meted right so uh, a is getting meet um, at the point b c is getting um, meet at b d is even going and meeting at the b point so they have a so this Side, the corner side we will refer that as a vertex we will uh, we will consider that as a common vertex so if they are having so then we will consider that angle as a adjacent angle that first of all they should have common side that is in this case abc and cbd they have a common side that is cb also in abc and cbd they have a common vertex that is d all right student the common vertex or the point b is the common vertex so this to get the whole thing together consists of a adjacent angle all right <coughs> proceeding forward uh, is our linear pair of angle a linear pair of angles is formed when two lines intersect when two lines intersect just see one line is there and another line is this so when the two lines is getting intersect and two angles are said to be linear if they are adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines okay so two angles this angle number one angle and this from here just see angle a here and angle b here two angles are said to be linear if they are adjacent angle okay just see here this is your a angle angle b okay so in to form an adjacent angle what are the thing you have to remember that is they have to have a common common arm common arm right say a b suppose say this is a x y z and y sorry z y and say l so they have a they are having a common arm what is the common arm You will, you will just comment me okay you just take this point as x you will take this point as y where where this line is meeting and this we will consider as a y and this you will consider as a z okay so now you will tell me why this is a adjacent angle i have said this is an adjacent angle now you will tell me why it is an adjacent angle so this will be a home assignment okay student remember whenever the uh, linear pair of angle is there then the sum of the two angle is always 180 degree that is complementary or supplementary it is supplementary yes whenever the two angle is formed in case of linear pair angle linear just see here it is a straight line straight line and from the any other line comes and intersect okay so in this case the angle is 180 degree the two angle join up to form 180 degree remember linear pair of angle is forming the sum of the two angle is 180 degree that is supplementary angle they are making supplementary again again i repeat 
So the sum of the two angles in case of linear pair of angle is 180 degree. Whatever is the condition, the sum of the two angles is always 180 degree. Alright student, I hope you have understood this. Proceeding forward, the angles opposite each other when they line, when two lines cross, they are always equal. So which um, angle we are studying? We are studying about vertical opposite angle. Okay, the vertical opposite angle. Just see here, uh, the corner side where they are meeting is called the vertex. The two line where they are getting intersected or getting met they are referred as the vertex so and if you have to um, find or determine the vertically vertical opposite angle then we have to see this corner we have to see this side so the angle opposite the angle so you can see here this is making one angle here and another side this is one make, this is making one another uh, angle right so angle this is one angle this is one angle that is a degree b degree okay consider a degree angle we have referred basically as a degree in a degree so the angle opposite each other okay angle opposite each other when the when two line cross they are always equal and that are referred as a vertically opposite angle in this, this figure you can see the example here a degree and b degree are vertically opposite angle okay suppose this is 120 then b also should be 120 degree it, if it is 90 degree then this also should be 90 degree or if this is suppose 45 then this also should be 45 degree so in case of vertically opposite angle the oppo the opposite angles are always equal okay so this type of angle is formed in a vertex where the two lines get meet i hope this is clear to you all now Student, <coughs> in your book, you will find the examples, a few uh, questions, not in the exercise, okay? Just don't start exercise. First of all, we will uh, solve, think, discuss and write. We will solve this one, first of all. Number one, can two acute angles be complement to each other? What? First of all, you have to understand what is acute angle. What is acute angle? So, acute angle means what yes acute angle are those angle in which the angles are less than 90 degrees so you have to uh, after knowing that you have to explain us that whether can two angle be a complement to each other or not it is always less than 90 degree acute angle are less than 90 degree isn't it and complementary angles are those angle whose sum is is equal to 90 degree isn't it whose sum is equal to 90 degree now the complementary angle are always acute angle complementary angles are always acute angle hence two acute angle can be complementary say for 45 degree if you have acute angle 45 plus 45 is uh, 90 degree right so that is making acute angle no it is possible so uh, similarly if you consider 70 and 20 degree if you have two pair of angles both are acute angle no so you have to consider two angle which is acute angle whatever is the condition whatever is the question you have to frame on such a way only so 70 and 20 they are making 90 degree no that is possible but if you take uh, 70 and uh, it uh, 70 and um, 120 degree then it is not possible because 120 is not an acute angle so you have to take two pair of angles such pair of angles which are acute angle in number one case so yes it is possible to form and complementary by two acute angle okay number two question can two obtuse angle be complement to each other can two obtuse angle be complement to each other obtuse means it is it is yes greater than 90 degree right it is greater than 90 degree so you have to form and complement is it possible? Just think. Um, obtuse is greater than 90 degrees. So if you take 90 and uh, 90, uh, say for uh, 110, it is already greater than complement. It should be greater than, it should be less than 90, you know, to form a complement. The best way to form a complement is it should be less than 90 degree. 
so it is not possible to form to form a complement by two obtuse angle okay so student you have to be very uh, careful whenever you are uh, solving this type of a problem because obtuse angle are those angle which are always which is greater than whose nature is always greater than 90 degree so if you take uh, say 100 and 100 then it is making 200 200 is not a complementary angle complementary angle is 90 degree consider that okay proceeding to number 3 can two right angle be complement to each other right angle means it is always 90 degree so can two right angle be uh, complement to each other no it is also not possible because it is already 90 degree yes otherwise you have to take 90 plus 0 but 0 is not a not an uh, right angle 0 is a acute angle so do right angle cannot be complement to each other so that is never not possible okay so student i have solved this three part now your home assignment will be try this okay think this question right number 1 number 2 and number 3 you will try to do it your so okay just you have to find the angles of uh, complementary what will be the complementary 70 20 75 which pair so this is forming uh, this pair is yes 70 plus 20 is 90 degree it is complementary angle 75 plus 25 is it is not possible it is 100 75 plus 25 is 100 so it is not uh, this pair of angle is not the complementary another Okay, uh, it is five eight plus two ten five four nine ten. It is also not the pair of complementary. So half of the question I have already solved. Now it's your duty to use the idea, use the knowledge, whatever I have uh, explained you on the way you will solve this problem. All right, children. So see you in the next class. Till then, stay safe and healthy, and do not forget to practice. All right. Thank you, everyone.